way into the hearts of people all over Houston and really around the country. It's true, but tonight a popular Selena tribute artist says all of her hard work has been mm -hmm. put into jeopardy because she was targeted by an online hacker. Our Keith Garvin is live in Southeast Houston tonight. So Keith, how much damage did this hacker cause? Well, Chris Dominique, so far nearly 40,000 of her Instagram followers are at risk. We're in Southeast Houston, right outside the record studio where she has been recording her first solo album. And this performer says that even with safety measures, her account was successfully attacked. Not only is this a tribute to Selena, it's a tribute to my mother. Tejano music has been in the heart of Amanda Solis for as long as she can remember, celebrated in the home provided by her late mother and father. An invitation to karaoke night a few years ago led the former real estate agent from Texas City into a career today that she could have only dreamed of. A popular Selena tribute artist touring across Texas and the entire nation. But a hacker has recently threatened to topple all of Solis' hard work. After accumulating nearly 40,000 followers on Instagram and half a million on TikTok, a hacker broke into her IG account, then demanded $1,000 to give back control. When she wouldn't budge, Solis says the hacker targeted her followers. He went and got uh, started messaging my own following, my followers on there, and asking them for money. So people were screenshotting me that knew me personally, that actually got the message, showed me that he was asking them for money. Zolise has yet to regain control of the account and has started a new one from scratch. Her advice to others, be sure all your media is backed up so you don't lose your hard-earned work. For the hacker, Solis continues the search for the person's identity and harbors a mix of hurt and anger. I'm trying to make it in this world too, so for you just to come in, like how dare you? How dare you? How dare you do that to me? Like what did I ever do to you? And Solis says she has contacted Instagram numerous times in an attempt to regain control of that account, but she says she's still waiting for a response. We also have reached out to Instagram and have not yet heard back. Reported live from Southeast Houston, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News.